up you guys welcome back to my channel um today's video we're going to be going over some activewear that i got from tj maxx um everything should be under or around 20 dollars, except the shoes were 24 dollars. but i don't have the exact prices because this girl's a genius and threw away her receipt before filming this and I may or may not be able to find everything online. I'm not really sure. It just depends because the TJ Maxx is all about like the hunt. So I'm literally going to have to go and hunt for all of this online. But yeah, so if you guys like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already. So you don't miss my next coming videos. That didn't make sense. But anyways, we're just going to jump into the video. Okay, first thing I want to talk about are these leggings, and these are from Yogalicious, which is, I think, like a sub-brand off of 90 Degree Yoga, and I like them both a lot. These leggings are just plain black because I need more black leggings, I guess. Not really, but <laughs> these have pockets in them, which I love because I hate trying to stick my phone in my bra or in the back and it's just weird or in the waistband and my pants and it just never works out. So pocket leggings are always a plus. So there's a big good size pocket on both sides. The back of the leggings has this cute little scrunch detailing. It's not like on your butt, it's just on the waistband so it's not supposed to be like a booty scrunch situation. But yeah, they're super cute, nice pockets, and they have a cute little mesh cutout on the back where your calves are. You can't really see at all. So yeah, they're super cute, and I'm pretty sure they're squat proof even. And all their leggings are super like soft and comfortable, but they're still, like it's a sporty material, but it's soft, it's weird. So they're not just like a fabric, like cloth, brushed, cottony feel. They still have that slick feel, but it's soft at the same time. I don't know if that made sense, but they should be pretty squat proof. We'll see. The next pair of leggings I got are from the brand Marika, whatever that is. I don't, I'm not familiar. Um, everything I got is in the size small, by the way. These are black at the top, and then they go down to this cute, like, white and gray color block at the bottoms. So the front is, like, gray, white, gray, and then the back is just white and gray. So these are all right. They're just the regular, like, sport legging feel that you'd normally get. The thing I don't like about these is that the bottoms get pretty tight and I'm guessing it's because of all these like different stitching to get these different colors of fabric in there. But then you like get to the tops of the leggings and they fit pretty loose. Like this was, it's not compressing at all, it's just kind of there. So I feel like these would fall a lot during a workout and then be awkwardly tight at the bottom. I don't know. They're not my favorite fit wise, but they're pretty cute. Not sure if they're squat proof or not, we'll see. I already tried them on and did my squat test, so. But yeah, so they're all right, whatever. next pair of leggings I got are not black. They're this cute gray color and these are from New Balance. Doesn't have a little tag on it but these are from New Balance and they're super like soft and sleek. Kind of similar to the all black ones that I showed you but these are a little bit softer but I really like the feel. These are I 
think they're either supposed to be capri leggings or cropped like seven eight length leggings because they show my ankles but I'm also only five foot and I have really short legs so I don't know if they're supposed to be capri but on me they're like seven eighth or if they're supposed to be seven eighth but they're just this cute heathered gray material there's nothing fancy about them they've got a nice good old front seam which might be annoying but we'll see I don't know and they should be pretty squat proof and the nice thing about this like material in this pattern is that it's gonna hide your sweat pretty well so I'm excited about that so I will probably wear these also in a size small The last pair of leggings I got are from the brand Ivy Park, which is really cool. This is a brand, I think they're also in Topshop, I want to say, and like that's not here in Oklahoma. So it's kind of cool that Ivy Park is um, being sold in TJ Maxx now, but they are Ivy Park. These are more of the soft, stretchy fabric material. They're really cute. They're this like heathered blue, green, teal. And they do have some of this like slight leg contouring detailing in the front. There is no front seam and the waistband is seamless, which is really nice. So these are honestly really nice. They're really soft and comfortable. They do seem a little bit sheer. We'll know for sure here in a second. But besides that, I don't really have any cons. It's just they might be sheer, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, they are pretty basic. Besides that, they kind of have this scrunch at the bottom where it's a little bit tighter, but I didn't really notice it when I tried them on. So, pretty plain, heathered, blue, green, tealish, Ivy Park, comfortable, I like them. on to tops the first top I have is just a plain old adidas sports bra which I think is pretty cool to be able to find just at TJ Maxx and I'm pretty sure this was like $14 or so which is significantly cheaper than how they normally would go so it is just the cute branded adidas sports bra and um, this is a size small and it fits really great this is probably like medium to high support probably more on the high support side so I really like that I don't like working out in like low support sports bras that's just you don't need that situation happening when you're really trying to put in some work so I like it she's cute Alright, the next sports bra I got is a lower support sports bra, and it is a Puma sports bra. It's really cute, and I really like the look of it, but it's just like if I was ever doing a lot of running or jumping or just several different movements, I wouldn't want to be wearing this, but it has some cute detailing in the back, this little crisscross. And it does have cut pads, so it gives you a little bit of shape and support. But yeah, it's more of a low support, maybe medium support sports bra. I don't know. Just depends. But I like it. I think it's cute. I will probably wear it, just not on days that I'm jumping or doing anything like that. <laughs>
The next thing I got is just a plain tank top. This is from the brand Layer 8. I don't know what that is, but the, I saw like tons of it at TJ Maxx when I went. So it's just the Layer 8 brand. It's just a cute plain um, tank top. It's kind of heathered and it's the really light material so it's super breathable to work out in. I've already worked out in it and I really liked it. The back just has this cute racer back and then it has this open little keyhole right here. So yeah, it's really plain and cute. It's oversized. Like this is a small and it fits me really nice and loose which I like because I don't like to be super compressed up top um, when I'm trying to work out because I just don't want to have to worry about like do I have some like stomach rolls going on and what what do I look like you know just throw on an oversized tank top and you're good all right the last clothing item I have is just this plain red crop top and it does have a little tie keyhole in the front of it. This actually wasn't from the active wear section. I found this in the junior section because I was just looking for crop tops and I found a cute red one and red is my color right now so I was pretty excited. It fits really nice. This is actually size large because it was in like the kids so everything else is size small. But yeah, pretty plain, cute little red crop top. I'm pretty sure this was only like $9, but yeah. Okay, the last thing I got from TJ Maxx, once again, just don't judge me, my Taste in shoes is different for some people. Layden, my boyfriend, hates all the shoes I come home with or I order and I get them and he's like, those are ugly. And I'm like, no, they're not, but he thinks they are, but it's fine. Agree to disagree. So I got these cute, chunky trainers, <laughs> size seven. <laughs> That's what size they wear. These were only $24 and they're pretty good. They're pretty heavy duty. They're not any like name brand anything. They're just really basic plain trainers. I really like them and they're very comfortable. They like fit my feet perfectly and that might be because I got these other shoes that I've been wearing to see how I like them and they're from China. You'll see in an upcoming video if you watch it and they didn't fit great but like these just fit so perfectly on my feet I really enjoy them so that is those I really like them they're comfortable and I think they're cute okay guys that's gonna be it for this video today I hope you liked it I will try to see if I can find links to everything or at least some things and if I do they will be in the description so once again thank you for joining me and be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss my next couple videos coming up because they're gonna be good I hope <laughs> okay bye